Hello, Collective. It's G here from Golden Thread Tarot, and I'm here to bring you another channeled message. I hope this message is finding you blessed and full of abundance, as always. And just right away, I'm jumping into it. The Arturians want to step forward and say hello, brothers and sisters. They're bringing a message forward to you, but also... They want to say that this is a part two to the reading that I just posted that was the You Remind Me of a Girl reading, okay? <laughs> All these spirit guys just said fuckboy anthem. <laughs> like some of y'all need to know if you're really drawn to this part two that um, there's a very deceptive nature um, to the way that some energies were presenting themselves in that reading um especially like masculine energies they were oh look at this look at this yeah so they're doing some mask work here i'm always drawn to those masks other girls kind of looking down at the mask like mm, should i what mask should i wear today what should i buy what should be my new mask this person is always pouring sweet like honey um, words into your ears but um, the honest truth is this person this person runs away this person runs away they are unwilling to stand up they're unwilling to fight they're unwilling to evolve they're unwilling to be honest about some things that is within them they are they are refusing to look into the mirror right if someone you are that mirror right so spirit is showing me um, a person standing in front of a mirror and just like punching the mirror like looking into it and punching the mirror like really dramatically out of like a, mo a scene in a movie or something right and uh how the person just sitting there looking in the mirror like i can't stand the side of myself and spirit is calling you that mirror so i'm not saying that this person actually physically hit you i'm so sorry if they did but um either spiritually or just mentally emotionally um that's kind of the relationship that you and this person had together um and I think that we did establish that it was unfair in the part one video that, um, you know, this person looked at you and saw someone else and saw someone else. And that some, and for some of you, that someone else was themselves, right? And they called it someone else because they don't want it to admit that that person that they saw was them. Because when you are a light worker or you are a heavenly body here on this earth, um, you're going to draw lots of different types of energies around you. And some of those people, they are going to come up to you and they're going to have such a reaction to the mirror that you are. Because a lot of you out there, I'm hearing projectors, some of you might be, I'm just now starting to study like human design, um, which is really interesting, but I'm just like toes in, just starting. So some of you might be... Um, it is interesting. Um, I don't feel like it's going to be for everybody, but some of you might be interested or some of you out there might know that you are, you might have gotten your human design chart read um, and you could know that you're a projector. Um, or this people could be a projector. Uh, oh, I'm hearing that some, for some of these people, they are reflectors. Okay. Um, but anyway, we're going to get off of that because not everybody here is going to be about that, you know. But... Um, These people are going to, either way, you just are going to reflect a mirror back onto these people and that you remind me of a girl that I once knew, you know, whenever I look at you, I see her face, they're seeing themselves. Um, for some of them, it is this, it is like, I see what I used to be. So for some of you, what you need to know is that that person was actually indeed a, a feminine energy and when they look at you they see an uncorrupted version of themselves or they see the difference they see the contrast between who you are and who they are um and that really hurt this person and that made this person lash out they're showing me again the person punching the mirror and like cracking the mirror so that in turn made this person attack you in some sense of the way either like i said emotionally physically um verbally even for some of you, but this person is scared. They feel very burdened by the thought of actually standing up to this uh, mission, to this to this um, reflection of how they have been living their life, right? This person, regardless of what gender, you know, that they uh, claim, 
no matter what gender they want to be, you know, associated with, this person is in very shadow masculine energy or there are right now their part of their journey is really activating like a shadow part of their masculine. Um, it's bringing, they're showing me like bringing things up to the surface, up to the surface. That's why this person has this throat chakra block because they are refusing. It is a self-imposed block of refusing to speaking the truth, to speak the truth that they know inside of them. When they, when their truth is telling them, this is your authenticity. What, sorry, when their soul is telling them, this is your truth, right? When their truth, when that truth is speaking from them, you know, and they know inside their head, which is the root of their insecurities, they know inside of their head that what they're saying and, and, and the way they're pretending to live their life is not truly who they are because they, of all people, truly know themselves, you know? Um, and because they truly know themselves, they have this very deep denial of, that's not me. It's this big disassociation. Like, if I just project all my issues onto other people, I don't have to admit that everything I'm projecting onto everyone else is actually me. You know, it's it's this person is refusing. Is a, is a person given into a weakness here, right, within themselves. Um, because a part of them feels like I am not strong enough to endure the burden of looking at myself, going on a spiritual journey, going on a hermit journey, looking inside of myself, looking deep inside the mirror and truly getting to know myself, know thyself. And in that, this person is denying one of their, one of their most integral tools to self-realization to self-empowerment, knowing yourself and being honest with yourself about what's, sorry, I just got, a note. I was just getting some notifications and I was like, oh, there's always messages in those. So I always stop to read them if a notification pops across my device, but it was like a whole paragraph and I was like, oh, I'm trying to read it quickly. Sorry. But anyway, so this person this definitely, because the notification was about getting a second chance involving something that happened to, to a child. And so it's like, I know here sometimes we, you know, we get tired of hearing like it's all about your childhood because it's not all about your childhood for, but for a lot of people, it really is. Between, between the ages of birth, right, and seven years old is when the human that you are going to be until you come to a possible awakening is imprinted upon your soul, right? Um, the part of nature versus nurture, right? The nurturing part of yourself that gets developed, you know? Um, it hides that nurture, that nature, right? That true self. It hides that authenticity and it teaches you to hide that authenticity. And a lot of times, you know, our brain patterns and thought patterns and paradigms are programmed programmed into us at that young age because we are just sponges absorbing everything around us, including the energy around us. And um, it's hard to the people that get tired of hearing that childhood is important, but it is. It's integral to the person that you become, you know, whether or not you unlearn those harmful or hurtful paradigms or if you continue them um, regardless. So... Daydream, exactly. This person is living in a daydream. <laughs> this person is living in a daydream. And again, here's the fine, fine, fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. They're showing me that dog sitting in a room. Everything is fine. This is perfectly okay, right? Um, and for most days, we settle to feel fine at least, okay? And that's literally this person's like vibe. That's, that's literally their whole vibe. It's just everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm just going to deny, 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 right? But the truth is this person, uh, they look at their life and they see a lot that they know they wish was different or they wish they could change, but they do a lot of saying it's everyone else's fault that I haven't developed into what I need to be. Um, but the truth is spirit is saying all of that doesn't really, it does matter to a point, right? Um, but at a certain point, you know, the people that have done what they've done to us are always responsible for their choices and for their actions. But at a certain age and at a certain point, you have to realize that you too. And if you become aware of it, it's your responsibility to change it, 
right? And this person keeps being shown through interactions with other people, through relationships, through just think how things happen on a daily basis that, hey, like they're being shown all the time. They're receiving messages all the time. You know, they might be little messages, but they are refusing <laughs> to see, right? They are refusing to see and they are refusing, you know, they're, they're holding on to these Spirit says overlords. Um, so these paradigms, right, that they have given power to, that they've spoken truth to, um, realities that they have concreted themselves and, and uh, created a, a soul connection with, right? Because through our actions and through our choices and through our intent and through our will, we tie ourselves to certain timelines. We tie ourselves to certain dimensions. We tie ourselves to certain outcomes of things because of... Um, the, the the universe is only limited into the sense of we are the filter that the universe is giving information and giving energy through, right? And we are, you know, channels of that energy, of divine energy, of, you know, higher dimensional and lower dimensional energy, right? And our thought process and our choice is what ties us into certain dimensions and ties us into certain timelines. And um, that's why, right? God is like, it's so important that you have, that you do realize you do have the free will. That's why it's so important because there is no changing. There is no journey. There is no, there is no whole point to this. If you aren't given the free will to make your own choices and to learn your, to have your own sovereignty, right? To learn to have your own sovereignty and to take that sovereignty and that responsibility serious, um, but you can't change something unless you acknowledge it, right? And no matter how many symbols or signs people or the spirit or, you know, collectives shine in this person's face, um, they really, they would rather live with this hops card here. They would rather live in a fairy tale is what I'm hearing. Because this, this hops card is kind of like a nine of pentacles card where it's like everything is beautiful and abundant and growing and independent and free. Um, and that's the energy that this person likes to project. Which don't we all? <laughs> Which don't we all? Don't we all like to feel free? Don't we all like to feel... Um, but it's, it's kind of this energy of where this person is like... It could, for some of you, it could be almost an energy of a rejection of spirit or rejection of God or rejection in general of any, anything higher, you know, and having that outlook, you know, it cuts off certain energies in their life. It cuts off their ability to see things. They're showing me the two of swords. Like it, 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 it cuts off. Yeah, it cuts off their their possibilities, right? Their infinite possibilities. It narrows them down and they do that to themselves. Did I lay this deck down upside down? Almost. Yeah. <laughs> um, there is, this person might be a person here, you see that red string that doesn't like to believe in fate, that doesn't, that feels disempowered by the thought of there being a God or there being other, or other things out there. Cause it's like, oh, fate and all that. I'm in control of my own fate. Like you are you are the the existence of god being omnipresent and omni you know um intelligent to everything that's happening and designing a plan doesn't mean that you don't have free will it's a limited belief to think that you kind of have to think either or either or yeah and this collective is saying hey like we, you're here um planting seeds right planting these seeds you're planting your own seeds right and you're choosing your own channels so you take accountability and responsibility for that. But oh, speaking of seeds, there's the mustard seed, right? <laughs> Perseverance and strength and continue, just like continuing to grow regardless. Hmm. Spirit is showing me, if you are following Hicks, you know how Abraham Hicks talks about we create our own vortexes, like Spirit Spirit is saying this person is creating their own vortex, that they are very much, that, they, that just because 
they don't realize they're doing it doesn't mean that they're not still actively doing it, right? And it's this kind of <laughs> energy here of it just feels like things are happening. It's um, You know how some people have a really hard, which it is a hard part of the journey of accepting that, that we have attracted certain energies into our lives, even when those energies are very hurtful, you know? Um, paradigms, thought processes, like we are the ones choosing what realities we're living in. And so it can be very hard to not only take accountability for your actions and your choices, but to also accept, it's not something as strong as responsibility, especially when you're walking around unknowingly, you like, you haven't been exposed to the information, this kind of information yet. So it hasn't expanded your mind to think like, oh no, I am the master of my universe, right? We are the masters of our own individual universes. And in that sense, it's because we choose, we choose how we respond to things. We choose how, if we choose to react to things, we choose if we, um, allow things to affect us. They're showing me someone like yelling and screaming in traffic or someone being an asshole to you at your job or uh, a coworker doing something petty or, or a family member saying something that just kind of really you know, gets on your nerves. And Spirit is saying that it's it's our responsibility to know thyself, to know these things. Spirit and many other like higher dimensional collectives have given us guyans like a lot a lot a lot a lot of help right a lot of tools spirit has spent many tools in the forms of you know gurus and teachers and you know priests and and people transcribers people writing books people downloading information out there and the information is out there. So it's your personal responsibility. If you choose not to take your blindfold off, Spirit's not going to make you. Spirit's not going to force you. There are some things that are that are meant to happen. It's just they're so okay. So they're showing me that it's like in those in those faded instances, it's where so many of the realities align together naturally at this point because it is some kind of energy point that has been placed there within the fabric of the universe. So they're saying that, yes, like fate is real because there are some things, you know, but a lot of times to your, what you call fate changes like based on your choices, right? But there, because of some past choices, there are faded events that thus must now happen because it is written into the universe for it to be that way. Them's just the breaks, kids. Like, them's just the rules, kids. It, It's not something that you avoid. It's just something that you... You don't need to avoid it. Just accept it, right? There's a, a sense here of acceptance. Accepting thyself. Knowing thyself. If there's something about yourself you don't like, change it. Don't project onto anyone else. Don't run away from it. Um, be brave and be strong to do it. But again, at the end of the day, it's your choice. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, see your own fruits. Thank you, Spirit. Look at that. See your own fruits. Right? Um, you know, we grow our own our own fruits. We grow our own surroundings. We grow our own opportunities, right? By subscribing to them we subscribe to certain opportunities and to certain pathways. So, so re-empower yourself by knowing yourself and knowing the footsteps are showing me like footsteps, like taking intentional footsteps, walking intentionally, walking the way, you know, um, they're saying like Buddhism, Hinduism, Tao, Taoism, like, it's knowing that way, finding that path with the flow of the universe. The universe flows in a certain path in a certain way. And you can either fight against that current or you can flow with it because the universe is going to find the simplest, easiest, 
it just makes sense. It just works out way to go forward. So when you tap into that energy, after you know yourself and you walk forward in authenticity, you can know how to walk in your own flow, right? And then you can be aware of the seeds that you plant here. And then this doesn't have to be a fantasy, right? This can be a reality. Because you are fantasizing about it, this reality does exist. But it's your choice as to whether or not, you know, because sometimes those realities require work, they require sacrifice, they require leaving certain friends or family behind or leaving certain jobs behind or leaving certain activities behind or leaving certain, you know, a thought process behind, you know. Um, if you want to exist in this reality, you have to match its energy. Um, so they're saying that, like, Future, future scripting, like writing down what you want to manifest is going to be very powerful for a lot of you, okay? And that, uh, <laughs> um, and that, <sighs> a lot of you, okay, sorry, this is a completely different, like, left field, like, a lot of you are going to be tapping into some really powerful, like, feminine energy here. Like a, a really strong feminine collective for a lot of you, um, like your heart chakra is going to be activated by some really, um, really high vibrational uh, Venusian, Vagan, and Palladian um, energy that's flowing here. Um, yeah, start manifesting in that energy, Spirit is saying. God, it's so powerful, you guys. It's so beautiful and it's so powerful and... Um, A spirit is also saying that to embrace all energy, because here, though, I'm seeing, like, the sun and the moon. So you see that light back in the background. It looks like, like a summer, like a nice summer's day in the background, right? So it's kind of like very springy summer energy. And this is, too, but it's, like, warm summer nights energy is what it's giving me. So it looks like... Um, to me right now it's looking like a person that's like laying on their back and they're looking up and they're laying in like a field of flowers so the, f the flowers are kind of like you know this is this is their this is what they see looking up and they're looking up into the sky and the moon is like right uh, right above them and it's kind of this kind of um getting into the natural flow energy here and also tapping into um both feminine and masculine energy. This is so interesting. Some of you here are planting seeds or laying foundation for like a brand new type of kind of energy flow to be grounded here into the earth because it's time for it to be given birth. It's time for it to come about. It's time for, um, it's time for this to happen. It is a, a point, like a pivotal point is what Spirit is saying. Ooh, this is so interesting. I love this energy. This feels like almost two completely different readings because we were talking about this person for a while, but I feel like it just turned to in general, about in general people that you have had in your past. For a lot of you, especially lovers and friends, relationships, like uh, chosen relationships in your past, because this is about your intent, right? And so our, our lovers and our friends, they are chosen relationships in our lives. And so spirit is talking here with you about, about knowing that you have the, you know, you have the power to empower yourself. Spend time by yourself. Don't be, don't be scared to, um, to unplug, unwrap. Spirit is saying like unwrap. For, spirit is saying for some of you, like if you have the ability to, you know, like if you have if you live in a more like private area or if you have like a private backyard or something like that, a private space where you can be outside. Some of you, Spirit is encouraging you to like sunbathe and mood, moon um, bathe um, to absorb that energy here. It's going to really help you sunbathe and moon bathe 
um, in the nude as well. That's why I was saying that. For some of you, if you can't, just have, especially when your son, yes, especially when you're sunbathing, try to have as much of your skin like visible, like or like receiving those sun rays as possible. And of course, do it responsibly because Spirit is mentioning something here about some of you, you know, saying, oh, I need to put on sunscreen and I don't need to absorb the, the rays. Um, yeah, it's not exactly the sun rays. It's a different type of kind of like spiritual energy. They're calling it Kek 9. Okay, Kek 9 energy. What a gem. Okay. Um, <sighs> um, that they are, that the sun is like a... Uh, it's like another wave, another, um, like underneath like radiation. It's a different type of radiation wave that's hitting, that's hitting you like spiritually. Um, and you're being like very charged by that right now. So try to spend time outside, you guys. Definitely try to spend time, like I said, laying on the ground. Like how I said, this person was like laying on the ground and here this person is like touching plants. So if you've been really guided to like, um, like, uh, get more like plants around your house have more uh, plant live plants around your house um, um, Really putting like, you know buying flowers or planting flowers to like um, You know growing your own flowers to, to have bouquets of flowers if you want to do it like uh, more responsibly spirit said You know if you don't um, like all the time going and um, buying flowers at the store You know or if you don't have like a local farmer's market or something you can go buy flowers out which i understand all of us are that blessed right um you can grow if you are you know that a lot of you too and a lot of you are been guided to get more into like herbology and to get into herbology and to get into uh growing certain types of plants and studying like medicinal uses for more plants and things like that. Okay. Um, really enhancing your, your spiritual gifts by spending time out in nature and kind of like getting one, you know, like go out and hug a tree, right. You know, go and sit out in the park, go hug a tree, bring more flowers, bring more live plants around your house and take care of them, water them, nurture them, speak life into them. And they will speak, thus they will speak life into you right in the sense of purifying and clean you know cleansing your house and your air and just releasing positive endorphins and positive energy um you know from not only seeing something that you're working on growing and flourishing right but also um just um having the the positive you know the positive <laughs> positivity for some of you um yeah there's something here about like channeling having the having the live energy like growing around you like channeling more of that helping to like filter and channel in more of this in, this energy into your environment around you yeah so spirit is saying that your environment like the literal environment like the what trees and what blossoms what some of you might be guided to um to travel possibly to experience other different types of environments and to experience other like firsthand other different types of herbs or flowers or you know and kind of like a, um oh, that's really dangerous though it's, it's well i mean you know like to just bring in you know and change around change around bring them inside <laughs> have them inside don't have them interact with other plants outside spirit saying but if it's more like indoor stuff. They're really wanting the inside of of your home or your wherever you are. They just want it to have like plants like everywhere. Yeah. Um, some of you already might be kind of doing that or you might be guided to get new, new pets. Okay. These are going to be really positive channels that are going to be coming to you. So you're going to be having positive channels uh, coming to you in kind of ways like that. Um, as well as in people, but a lot of objects that you're going to be, you're going to be like walking through the store or going, you're going to be guided to go certain places, might, maybe perhaps like buy certain crystals, buy certain objects to put around you to channel certain energies. So spirit is saying like, when that comes up, just kind of let it, let it go, let it go and let it be. Yeah. You're changing. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying like, you're definitely channeling a lot of you know, energy here, but also too, um, this hand position is for channeling, right? The heart, you know, when you, if you want to change it up just a little bit, 
you know, um, for channeling in that heart chakra energy, right? Channeling in that abundance energy, channeling in your personal power energy. Yeah, <laughs> channeling in the vibes, Ch uh, changing the vibe. Yeah, <laughs> right? Spirit saying, uh, I confirm that. Yeah, do, do some, you know, peace, bringing in more peace into your heart. It's, it's the mood, it's the vibe. So there's this energy of cleansing out this kind of false daydreaming fantasy energy. It doesn't have to be a fantasy. It's like stop falling for fantasies or stop falling for people who pour that honey, pour that fantasy energy into your ear, you know? Um, yeah, people who decide, like, what mask am I going to wear? You know, in the past, you've attracted a lot of those people around you. I really feel like this is a pathway that's, like, closing up to you now. Yeah, and that's the truth right? Because you're holding up that sort of truth to these pathways and cutting off the opportunities that these people are off, you know, these offers and you're starting something new, a brand new pathway. So towers had to fall in your life. You realize there was emotional work that you needed to do on yourself. You might've even really been denied. Yeah, you are being denied. Wow. You're being denied a lot of forward movement, a lot of passion, a lot of, uh, because we were saying sit. I'm seeing somebody just like sitting with like their legs crossed like on the ground. Like sit in this moment. Sit in this moment and cleanse your energy. Sit in this moment and cleanse your energy. Sit in this moment and cleanse your energy. Because you got this energy of I need to focus. I need to search. I need to search for something. And you were searching for it within other people. Spirit is saying. You know. Yeah. It's time though for you to ground this energy. Because yeah, look. It's not, it's not been allowed. This denial of this fruitfulness energy here, this emotional manipulation that you've been in, okay? Whoa. Okay. It's been, it's caused almost like a shutdown in your energy. Wait. I am hearing meddling energy, though. I am hearing meddling energy. Hold on. I actually, just now it's coming to my mind that I actually took notes on this earlier, on this reading. And Spirit is guiding me to look. Oh, they want me to do all of this. Um, so I looked up the, because the first reading was based on that You Remind Me of a Girl energy right and it was the the song you remind me by usher right and i was guided to look up the lyrics and with this with past people in the past um i was getting that you might run into someone from your past who will let you know why they never called you back or ghosted you or didn't text you it looked a lot like a uh, you looked a lot like a, a boy or a girl from their past that cheated on them you know, you looked innocent, but they felt a strong sexual energy from you, which is their like projection energy onto you. So they assumed that you had many suitors and many options, seven of cups energy. And also it triggered their insecurities, the reverse strength card energy. Yeah, and then look, old notes that I have right underneath this, the very first sentence says someone is masking who they really are. Four of wands. Hold fast and steady to your uh, to your foundation. Oh wow, yeah. So this morning, some more notes. This morning, three, 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 three. Dead on the clock. When I said that, okay, that's a sign that this is that this God was involved with this, and I know I know Spirit was because how about I got up this morning and I let myself sleep in because I have been going out and enjoying myself a little bit and staying up and indulging and staying up and doing something. So I was, had really only had a couple hours sleeps in the past couple of days and I was getting other things done. I was recording readings and doing stuff too, but I was allowing myself to indulge and go out with friends, um, um, and have a good time. I had a really good time. It was really nice. And, um, I got up late this morning and when it was like mid morning when I got up and the first thing I saw, I was guided to like go around and like open up all my blinds and my windows to let in light, right? And it's raining here today. It was been raining all day. Um, 
which is good because that's a sign of like cleansing energy. But this morning when I first got up, it wasn't raining, um, but it had been raining the morning and I went around and opened up. So it was already pretty dark. And I was like, well, I got to open up all these blinds. I got to let a little bit of light that's, that's here in. And when I went into my bathroom and opened up the blinds or the, the, sorry, the curtains to my back window that's in my bathroom, it opens up into like a little, it's not really, I wouldn't call it woods, but I have been seeing a lot of animals back there. Um, here recently and it's just been really surprising I'm like where are all these animals but this morning I got up you guys and it's mid-morning I opened the closet and there's a possum outside in my backyard and I was like a possum during the middle of the day and I was and as I was just staring at this possum back there foraging for food I was like I just got this download from spirit and it was like that someone is being asked, is being pushed to step outside of their natural element, right? The possum being a nocturnal animal, being out during like the middle of the day because they, because he had to go back there, right? And forge, he or she, they had to go back there and forage for food, right? Forage to find a way. I was, that's the first thing that came to my mind was they must really be being forced to like stay up, right? To be up all night, really trying to find something to eat, right? Um, Because it is winter time here now when I'm filming this. Um... Yeah, so I'm seeing like pushing you out of your comfort zone and I was seeing that North Node energy and they were also showing me the the um, North Node card in the Munology deck. This, uh, the, they also said the South Node energy, like don't let your past hold you back, but the North Node energy, like stepping out of your comfort zone, step out of your comfort zone is what that uh, card said. And so I looked up the meaning for the possum spirit, like a possum animal spirit and it meant, it meant fertility, um, uh, resourcefulness, also protection or staying still and letting danger pass. Um, and I was seeing like hangman high priestess energy, right? And that's what made me think about taking these notes. Cause I was like, this is like a hangman pause energy being put of like, you had to have this energy. The truth had to be revealed to you. Um, five, five, five down on the real time clock. Holy crap. It's got all over this. Um, you had to step into this queen of swords energy to really have this new beginning, right? This new fresh beginning starting for you. And spirit is encouraging some of you to take a leap of faith, to cut out, um, things from your past, right? That have actually been draining your energy and keeping this empress energy, um, kind of like away or like rejecting this energy, um, and I was seeing the star card. I'm seeing possible malicious eyes on you. Your spirit guides could be pushing you to move or change environments. Holy crap. I totally forgot about that in this notes, but speaking of, um, to change environments, to facilitate a more uh, positive and resourceful situation. Although you may feel stagnant or frozen, right? Frozen, like a possum, like a possum, like freezes, um, um, the time for waiting is now over. Your spirit guides are um, finding an alternative and more effective solution to your problem. New possibilities, right? Old doors are closing. So the, and so you temporarily might feel like lost or stagnant or like, which way am I supposed to go? Which way am I supposed to go? As they close all the old doors and new pathways open up, right? And new possible paradigms open up, new opportunities open up so that there was kind of this rejection energy, like something tried to plant itself or something tried to um, be birthed through you and you refuse to let it, like you refuse to let it plant itself, right? You refuse to let like this kind of energy either continue or to grow period, right? I really feel like also someone for your someone from your past here was really trying to affect your fruits because like your fruits were showing right your fruits were showing and this person and that really it triggered them so they so they tried to plant you know probably like self-doubt inside of you dandelion some of you might need to drink dandelion root tea that's what i just heard um There was like a weed. Yeah, a dandelion is also considered a weed though, right? Like this person tried to, which I don't necessarily think that weeds are necessarily bad, right? They have a lot of, yeah, speaking of weeds, chamomile and feverfew, right? But anyway, um, yeah, but that's also, some of you need to drink some chamomile tea too. Maybe some um, combination. Um, feverfew, some of you, like the feverfew card um, is about, no, it's about having protection, about having like synchron um, synchronizing and having things because fever few helps keeps insects and bugs. It's like a natural bug repellent um, and, and protects other plants that it's naturally growing around by repelling bugs that might be trying to eat at its fruits or pick at its leaves or affect its growth and its journey. 
And so there was something that happened here, Spirit is saying, that allowed you to overcome here, right? Look at that head that, um, that with this basil card here, that there was this level of protection that was given here, okay? Peace and serenity and calm and um, a cleansing with the smoke that's there rising in the background. It's making me feel like an offering too. It's like someone tried to plant you with pain or with anger or and you grew peace and calm anyway. You transmitted that energy because that's what you do. They didn't know. That's their business. Um, yeah. Other people having doubts in you is their problem, not yours. Yeah. Um, Spirit just wanted me to say that for some of you for sure. Um, you overcame this and it was like a thought process, like an idea that someone tried to plant inside of you that you weren't good enough, that you weren't real enough, that she has, but like the mustard seed you grew anyway because you had a gift of love, right? You, have, you planted a seed of love anyway and you persevered through this and Spirit is saying, good job. <laughs> they're, they're saying good job, you know, but it's important that you wake up to to be aware, right, that rose, mm. there's so much powerful protection around you with that rosary right there, right, wow, two more, this deck, and then we'll switch decks again, um, wow, yeah, Look, what's the two more? The, the two fruits that I just put right put back in. And they came right back out. As well as with this alder berry here. Wow, you are so guided and protected and you get a lot of messages from your ancestors here. For some of you, you might have, you might have had like, because um, not all our ancestors are full of love and, of love and white light, right? Some are, are shadow ancestors. Some of, some of them are tormented people right um you could have had that kind of energy here and this is kind of striking me it's kind of striking me along the energy of you know like generational toxic mindsets generational curses or whatever you want to call them um but you had other ancestors that were you know that came up and was like oh hell no and protected you they were like oh no 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 guardians actually guardians put here to help guide you into the light yeah mm-hmm yeah, so if, it, so if any of you thought that someone did spell work on that, like your spirit guides, like, psh, psh. <laughs> uh, look at those two. That's what that's the energy that's giving me there with that blue bell, with that with that book there. Uh, I don't know why I heard that, but just like spell or anything done against you is like no. You have like some warrior ancestors that are just like we don't we don't fucks with that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's fine. Just a few more messages and we're going to go ahead and end this. Um, yeah, for some of you, um, hummingbirds could be really significant. Yeah, wow. That's a lot of energy right here. Some of you are going to be dropping something very soon, something that's been very heavy, that's been weighing on you. It's a self-sabotaging um, idea, thought process, paradigm, action, habit that you have that is um, that is coming up to the surface now and is being purged from you, purged from your from your from your from your mind, right? Yeah. And it's this kind of false, falseness of love. I guess it like stuck. I was like, how did that fly across the room over there? <laughs> oh, I guess it like stuck to me as I like pushed it. Anyway. Um, it's this kind of falseness. This kind of false love energy that you're releasing and letting go of.
it's also reminding me of like pouring into yourself, pouring love into yourself instead. Okay, sorry, I had the download. Give me a second and I'll catch up. Mm. I really feel like you're gonna, it's, they're showing me, you know, like lily pads rising out of the ashes, rising out, yeah. Learning, learning the, these lessons, right? Coming out more stronger based on what happened in your past, not feeling like, and not identifying so much as like wounded or like a victim, you know? And that's gonna show, that's really gonna show in the type of energy that you attract around you. Yes, and especially in the type of friends and people, you know, people that you that you would call comrades. Like this, this is kind of like the this change in psychology is really going to help you find your soul family, right? Trust your gut. Trust your gut. Trust your gut and your guidance. Yeah, and not and not these not these people or not these paradigms that tell you that you're just fine where you are. Right? I'm passionate I'm passionate about I'm passionate about daydream and doodling the most random stuff. Hey, excuse me, get down. Hold on. My cat's doing the most right now. I'm, why are you up there? Excuse me, sir. Why are you climbed up there? Get down. Thank you. Hey. Again, doodling the most random stuff. So some some of you might feel like you're you've just been like drawn to like. Uh, drawn to draw or doodle or sketch or write down or read or journal about the most random stuff or you might be dreaming about all this random stuff it's really going to like spirit is saying have have faith. also they're saying have faith it's important you know do it do it if you're being guided to do it or if you're being guided to to draw it or if you're being there will be messages in it you know, there will be secrets in it, okay? But not if you don't, you won't have these downloads if you don't do it, right? You, you, there can't be results. There can't be, you know, you're daydreaming about your purpose or your goals, but if you don't put the work into it to actualize it into your reality, like there's nothing that spirit can do about that, right? But you can't allow these things from your past People that tried to break you or people that tried to, there was a sin... <sighs> spirit saying again, like I said, there's that two of swords, right? Take the mask off, take the mask off, take the blindfolds off. Also take your mask off and take the blindfolds off about certain people that, that try to come into your life. Like call a spade a spade, see who people are, who, who they really are, right? And, uh... When people show you who they are, believe them. Believe them the first time and, you know, cut them out of your life. Don't be scared to cut people out of your life. Don't be scared to walk away. There will be more. If you hold on to people or if you hold on to thought processes or places or because you think there's not enough, you're creating a scarcity mindset inside of your reality, right? And you're subscribing to a reality that automatically gives you less because you feel like, you know, you don't deserve more. Look at that. The Empress. But that's how you get here, right? But these negative thoughts, these thought patterns, people from your past too, you know? 
Yeah, so I'm hearing this song. I think it's called You Got It Good or You Got It. I can't remember who sings it, but I just keep hearing a part of it where it's like, you're the best, you're the best I've ever had and I've got it bad. Yeah, baby, you've got it good. That's what I keep hearing. So there's people from your past that don't want to see you succeed or don't want to see you make it, which is, which you shouldn't let affect you as much as maybe in the past or that you have. Maybe even subconsciously in a way that you don't even realize that you're letting them affect you. But look, there's that four of wands energy that that random note was talking about. Now, this could be family. This could be home. This is why this is why it could hit really deep because, you know, again, we talked about how like your childhood plays a big, a big role in it. Right. This self-sabotaging thing was something that was given to you or passed over to you. You know, it was something that was taught. These limiting beliefs were taught to you. Um, and in the past, that's what you have planted. That's what you have grown, right? Say that you listen to society say, you know, men don't mean anything. Men are all dogs. All men cheat. And you believe in that paradigm. And then you're surprised that every single guy that you're with, like, cheats on you or that you see a lot of people around you can cheat. Well, you believe in that paradigm. You subscribe to it. So that's going to pull you into reality where most men around you are going to cheat because you're saying to the universe, people cheat, men cheat. Not all men cheat, but um, it, it can feel that way when you start when you start telling the universe, this is what I believe. And the universe says, okay. And they tap you into a reality that you're where you're surrounded by all men who cheat or you or that energy that you put out into the universe attracts realities that that have you being cheated on or have, have you being mistreated or used, you know. Um, and sometimes these these paradigms can be so deep and can be so subconscious that, you know, that they exist in, in a place in the subconscious inside of us where we don't realize that we're that we are actively subscribing ourselves to these realities or subscribing ourselves to these thought processes to these paradigms right but we are you've just it's so just buried so deeply inside you you don't realize that you make choices every single day that keep you in those loops or keep you in that place keep you in a place of lack or keep you in a, in a state of not believing in in the truth that is really within you right which is this four of wands this empress energy that's the truth that lies within you you are abundant you are beautiful, you are abundant, you are worthy, you are home, you know, you are safe, you are nurtured, you are loved. Some of you really not, maybe not have felt that, or you just haven't felt that in a really long time. And it's unfortunate, you know, that that's been the reality that you've been experiencing, but that's closing, and there's a whole new world, there's a whole new possibility opening up to you. So don't just see the bad news and the things that are happening around you. Be grateful for the opportunities of change that are happening around you. When people leave your life because they don't match you or because they mistreat you or abuse you and, they, and they're out of your life, be grateful, right? Be grateful that you saw the truth. Be grateful that they finally were removed or, you know. But again, there's something here that's very significant about the, the, the opportunities that you choose to take, right? Do you take opportunities that look like this or do you take opportunities that look like this? It's really up to you. And so in this and this the difference between that choice might seem subtle, but it makes all the difference in the experience that you're going to have. So be aware of that. The two of pinnacles. Yeah. <laughs> Juggling between these two different realities, you have the choice to choose which one that you want to take. Some of you are going to have a big, major, like, fork in your road. You, talk, you know how I talked about earlier about talked about those pivotal points in our reality and our experiences? Some of you have a very pivotal point coming up where it's where old realities are closing and a new reality is opening up. And it's your choice as to which, you know, or it could even be multi, you know, multiple realities, two really main realities opening up to you right here. And 
there is this sense of dropping this old reality of or dropping your subscription to realities that end up with the seven of swords energy, right? Even like a self-sabotage kind of energy, right? Because it is a self-sabotage in a way because we're subconsciously or consciously choosing, right? You're choosing some, some reason why you're choosing to be with those people are choosing to endure what they're making you go through. If that's what, you know, the language that you want to use, but for some of you, just for some of you, and I don't, and I know this is going to be triggering, you know, and before you sit and before you get mad or go down in the comment section, I, I, you know, this is something even I had to see inside of myself, right? I had to say, you know, I'm choosing to endure. I'm choosing to see myself in a victim in this situation, right? This person is just showing me the truth of who they really are. I want them to treat me differently, but they're showing me the truth of who they really are. And you might want to say, say, oh, this person can change or this person can evolve. Like, yeah, they can't, but they're choosing not to. And if they have chosen not to, that that is what it was. See, see it as a blessing that they're showing you their real self and show them the door. Show them that sword, right? Cut them out of your life. Cut the cord and move on. And don't invest in them anymore. That's going to make the difference, right? And these chosen relationships, choose wisely. Know yourself. Know yourself. Empower yourself. So when you know yourself and you walk forward in your authenticity, people show you their truth. Believe the truth that they show you right? And choose who who you choose to bring into your reality. In, the, in your chosen relationships, right? Spirit is saying that there are relationships that you don't choose, but like even like work situations, you can't choose who your boss is, but you can choose whether or not you stay at that job or not, right? Empower yourself to end cycles that need to end, to go through this transformation within yourself, right? That's how you, right? That's how you, okay, that's a completely different thing I'm about to say, but that's how you really reunite with your justice, right? That's how you come into alignment with, with, um, realities that feel like truth and justice and fair and like you're getting what you deserve, right? And for some of you, you have refused to let things go and refused to walk away from them. Okay, refuse to walk away from some things in your past. Okay, because you felt like you deserved something or you were owed something or it would have been your justice for like, yeah, maybe it would feel like justice if that person from your past came back and was like, I'm a terrible person. You were right. I treated you so bad. I never should have treated you that way. I'm so sorry I did that, you know, and either completely changed who they were or just dropped out of your life after they came back and gave you a nice, really big, beautiful bow and a, I'm so sorry. And, you know, and some of you have been waiting around like, are they going to come around? Are they going to choose to enlighten? Are they going to choose to come along? Detach yourself, Spirit is saying. Detach yourself. Because for some of you, you've been refusing to walk away from things that you know aren't that good for you because there is a part of yourself, maybe even a part of your ego, that feels like that you are owed justice or you want to stick around and see the karma these people are going to get. Nah, 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 nah. Let it go. Right? That's how you are going to get the justice that you are really deserved. Because for a lot of you, the, the true justice, the true karma is that you are about to jump a reality. Your justice is jumping realities away from these people and away from your away from realities that you are in connections with these people, right? Um, for some reason I just heard the weekend pray for me song. You gonna pray for me, take my pain for me, save my soul for me. Cause I'm alone, you see. Cause I'm gonna die for you. Cause I'm gonna give to you. And I spill this blood for you. Yeah. So, yeah, some of these people are like, so these people have been kind of keeping you here in a loop here because they want you, because they want you to like walk in, the, in their karma with them. Spirit is saying, and it's time for you to let go, right? That's the gift there. <laughs> That's the true gift. The true gift is that you see these people for who they truly are, right? And you can choose to walk away. 
So, but spirit is gifting you a choice, right? If you choose to stay here or you choose to act like this or you choose to be this or you choose to align yourself with that, that's your choice. But don't get mad when your reality shows that. And that was for some of you who identified as the person in the last one. Some of y'all need to know masculine energy that watches all my readings. Oh, look at that. Hey. Take accountability for your own reality that you're living in. Because <laughs> you can manifest a new one. Back to this general messages, right, for everyone. You can manifest a new one. It's your choice. Hello? The magician. Don't call me a liar again. Some of y'all need to be aware that people, when they do these things, when they when they hold that mirror up to you and they punch it and they see it all fractured and they mistreat you, it's a hook that they try to create inside of you. See that hook right there where this person is fishing here, this cat or whatever this little thing is right here on this little bug-eyed creature right here. It's fishing, right? It's fishing. Look at that fish right there. Sorry. I'm trying. And look, there's the star that I talked about too and the ghosting where I talked about somebody ghosting earlier. Somebody like fishes and leaves these hooks which leaves these ghosts like these ghosts these remnants inside of them of, of your own energy that that are purging from your energy now spirit is saying and like look oh my gosh look remember how i said look how you're like this star energy and look how this 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 little creature here has this rope this little anchor here tied around them and then tied into this star inner into that star right there look at that Right. And because you have this kind of like star empress energy, energies try to come to you and like hook into you. Right. To create these ties, these hooks with you. And spirit said you've been learning how to purge these energies away. Exactly. You've been learning how to let go of this victim mentality. Right. Which keeps you from doing the work that you know or that you really want to do and tries to keep you in chaos, right? Yeah, but you're, I really feel, yeah. So for some of you, this is, for some of you, this is an energy that you attracted that really tried to tie itself to you. Okay, it could have tried to like get you pregnant or it definitely was attracted to you, this person. I'm really feeling it was an energy that was in a person or attracted to a person, you know, that a person was creating here. Some reality that, that they had birthed into existence. They were really trying to, to hook that into yours here because they see something special or they see some kind of energy that they, that they lack within themselves within you. Which is why they go around trying to bust other people, trying to bust that mirror, right? And Spirit is saying that something that, hello, they do it because of their own insecurities, right? They do it because of their own insecurities. But Spirit is saying too that they're coming out and they're helping you cut these cords, right? Whatever emotional like confusion that you had around these people, which these people are coming out here as the Knight of Pentacles, they are being, you know, you're being cut off and released from that, right? These hooks are being cut off and being released as you're doing the shadow work. So as you're facing your own, you're doing this, on your own shadow work and facing your own insecurities, people are becoming less and less able to like hook into these triggers or into, into these insecurities and within you, right? And that's kind of the self-sabotaging energy of you, you 
living intentionally and being able to choose, right? What relationships you're choosing to allow to be around you. And you're going to get very sensitive about the relationships and the people and the energies that you choose to be around you, right? Because there's some situations like when we're out in crowds or when we're in places where we're not in control of who's around us, you know, um, like say when we're like traveling or something like spirit is saying you're going to be showed ways to help like protect yourself from energies like this. Yeah, from energies that um, and they're really kind of energies that feel that want. Yes. So there are other energies that as you are releasing and letting go of this victim mentality or this pain, this hurt, holding on to this pain, this hurt, you too are going to start not attracting in these energies that also identify with that I'm pain I'm hurt I'm a victim and some of, and some of you really attracted those energies that just wanted to give that grief out to other people right because you were a mirror to this person and you mirrored their own grief and their own insecurities and their own issues back to them within them right right and then because this happened, you had the strength to stand up and face your insecurities, right? You found the strength inside of yourself to stand up and do what you needed to do, right? To release this, to do the work, to do the shadow work, unlike this other person. Or unlike, well, for some of you. For some of you, these people have really started to do the work for themselves as well. But that doesn't mean for most of you. For most of the, for most of you, these people, like I said, these these people are not. Even though they have started, go, some of them have decided to wake up and face their own insecurities and go on an awakening journey, just like you have. Um, some of them, you know, that doesn't mean that their realities are going to come back into contact with you. It just means like whatever the soul contract was between you and this person is, you know, done and over. And uh, yeah. So as you are closing up and, and writing out old paradigms and old universes, yet yeah, laying them to rest and, and really going inside, meditating, contemplating, finding that, those, those swords of truth here, there could even be like a sense here of like, you learned like three very important lessons and you're in the process of learning another important truth here, right? Along your spiritual path, along your spiritual awakening. Yeah. And it's a, it's, oh my gosh. <laughs> and it's about how letting things that don't emotionally work, letting them go, right? Don't, you know, if a person, you know, don't chase after a person that doesn't want you or don't chase after a certain type of person that treats you a certain type of way, right? Instead of, you know, you're getting rid of that hook of a person being able to, to uh, really get to you by ghosting you or treating you a certain way, you know, and having you in turn chase after them or want them or chase after their affection or do things, you know, to spite them or to post those pictures or to do whatever it is that you did in the past, right? Whatever karmic stuff, you know, because we all have to admit, right, we're we're rising out of something, right? As we're awakening, we're on an awakening journey and we're not doing the same activities that we were doing. And some of, you know, we have to admit that if you are awakening from something, you were doing some fuck shit in the past, right? <laughs> right? What are you awakening from? Your own karmic gook and uk and muck, right? But you are, uh, like I said, look, with the toe, with the temperance angel dipping their toe in. So again, they're, they're talking about the human design. So some of you might be really being encouraged to do that. But spirit is saying that you are going to plant yourself into new realities, that you're going to allow the, your fruits to really come to bear and balance yourself out by recognizing who is not for you and unsubscribing to that. Don't take it personally when people aren't for you. Don't take it personally when people treat you like shit. Understand that you just aren't meant for that person. That person isn't meant for you in the first time or when they show you you know that you are not meant to them and this relationship is not meant to be let it go let it let it go don't let it have it trigger your insecurities or triggering your ego or having you getting these hooked into going and chasing after wanting to be wanted nah just balance yourself out okay and just go towards the people who are meant to be with you right it's easy and it's simple once you become aware of it once you walk forward with intention in your beliefs once you spend the time going into hermit mode and you know thyself you know yourself and once you know yourself you can say damn i have these triggers i have these tendencies i have this thought process i know where it came from and because i know where it came from i know where if i continue to think that way i know where it's going to take me 
So let me choose something different, right? The leverage is always about a choice, right? So this leverage is about cho choosing, like chosen soulmates. You will have certain soulmates depending on your choices, your actions, right? And you will have certain people in your life. And Spirit is saying that you are coming into a, mo a, a time of empowerment where you are learning. I have, you know, you don't feel like a victim. You don't feel like you're being forced into certain relationships or certain situations, you know? By so, like like you're like a puppet on a string being controlled by what your ego by by your by your triggers by your shadow right you don't feel so much like that and you feel much more empowered in your being and in your choices because you have awareness of it you're not living in this unawakened you know just going about the business letting your instincts and your lower you know your lower self control you right Which again, from what I've studied, is a lot about what human design is about. It's about knowing yourself, right? Knowing your type, knowing your energy type, knowing how you can tap into the natural energy that you produce and that you make and that you naturally tap into, how to go in with the flow. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so none of this stuff is, is to, um, again, the collective is saying that none of this is to tear you down. It's just when it becomes like a, a fact, like a like a past, like a past fact, like, okay, yeah, I was doing that. I was, you know, but I am raising out of it and I can see um, this journey is not only about waking up enough to finally see what you're doing, but to then to deeply stare into that mirror and to understand why you have done and how you are currently, what has happened in the past is having a current effect on your life and on you and on what you do and the choices that you make. And then when you are at that stage is when you truly make the choice of saying, damn, like I really have the choice to create my own reality. I can, I can, now that I know it, I can't unsee it. So I can either choose to run away from it or I can choose to, um, embrace it and go down a more karmic path, you know, um, a, a different type of another karmic path, or I can choose to accept it and to accept the awakening that I'm going through. And for a lot of you, unfortunately, in the moment when you came, when people feel like they're not matching to you, it's because, you know, either they're choosing to awaken and you're choosing to not or, or vice versa, right? In that moment, in that instance, and you are, and spirit is showing you who aligns with you and who doesn't, right? Who should be in your reality and who shouldn't. People's actions show you that. If you don't like it, we're not meant to endure, keep enduring things that we don't like. Choose something different. Which seems decisive, deceptively simple. <laughs> when you are trying to raise out of your ego or you're trying to raise out of having, you know, doing that shadow work, it's hard to do it. It takes a lot of effort. You know, it takes a lot of consistency and discipline, but, and again, a lot of courage and strength to, to endure through it and to stand and to stare into that mirror. That's, that's, that's how you learn the karmic lessons. That's how you become that, that warrior that knows I have been here before. I have done this before, you know, because I've gone through this, because I have this experience, I can choose better. Now that I know the difference, I can choose better for myself and choose better for my reality and choose better for my future. Excuse me, choose to build differently. This is gorgeous. Um, yeah, quickly. Things are quick. Ooh. Yes, things are changing quickly. There's something here that is not done. Oh, God. Uh, let go of any kind of controlling people from your past, okay? It's not whatever. I cut right on the same exact spot again. Get out of here. I cut on the same exact spot. The energy is really trying to force itself in. It really is. 
So like I said, for some of you, you need to be aware that people are trying to, you know, create those hooks into your reality and trying to convince you that, that, you know, where you are is fine. What they do is fine. How they act towards you is fine. They want to condition you to believe that, you know, stay asleep, keep that mask on. That's the vibes that they're in, right? That's the vibration that they're admitting. That might have been your past vibration or a vibration that you still might be overcoming now, right? Yeah, but what did I say? Somebody's trying to pour, trying to you know, invade your space and shit. So they just played that from Kill Bill. Your fucking enemy reveals herself. Yeah, okay. What in the hell? Dreaming, daydream. I had to walk with the flowers. Talk for hours. Yeah. Yeah. So Spirit is saying that some of y'all are creating very beautiful and abundant and prosperous, you know, realities for yourself in the future. So you just have to check the vibe, right? You got to check the vibe of these people coming into, uh, coming into your aura, coming into your field. Check the vibe, right? Check the vibe. And then when you see they don't bounce their ass outside that field, bounce their ass back, be like, no, thank you, you know? Check the vibe of these chosen people that you decide to have that you decide to have around you, because you're always gonna have some low vibe people try to make their way in. But don't let the past hold you back, right? Don't trip over what's in the past. Let go. Let go of the people that have tried to bounce in and that you know that you let stay in and then they hurt you. This is that choice. This is the choice. Choose your reality. Who do you want to be? Choose. It's your time. Right? You can get your wish fulfillment, but it just it depends on what your intentions and what your actions and what your choices are telling the universe is your wishes. Regardless if you say, oh, I want this, I want that. If you're not making the choices and making the actions and making the goals and making the steps towards it, you're telling the universe you don't really actually want it. Right? If you're saying, I don't want to deal with people that act like this anymore, but then you still entertain people that deal like, that act like that, you know, what do you think you're showing the universe? What do you think you're telling the universe? And those actions, those choices, give to yourself. The universe will give whatever you give, right? So take your mask off. Walk in your authenticity. Stop trying to match up to other people and live unapologetically. You, right? And don't keep fretting over the time in the past when people started to see your authenticity and told you to shut down or told you to shine down or told you not to be that person or because they didn't like what you changing meant about them or meant about your situation. They want you to, to not be that person anymore or to, to not believe in that person, your authenticity anymore. Just, just know, right? It's just, it's okay. It's, it's just not what it is anymore. Truly. Truly, to not just say it, but to truly, really deeply, really feel that way. To be like, I've truly unhooked from this. Yeah. Okay. Well. Dreaming, daydream. A lot of you are daydreaming about your match, your King of Pentacles match, and manifesting this person. You will get many options of this type of person to come forward vibe check check the vibe make people you know give people the good run around <laughs> not a, not not like a like i said the good run around not like the manipulative run around like give them make them go through the whole vibe check yeah wait to see who they really are on the inside wait till those masks start peeling back all right because spirit will show you the truth of people that you decide to have that that you will be building your future with believe it Okay. Believe it. Believe it.
Because I feel like a lot of you have the talent of seeing past these people's masks. So you see their hurt self or you see their true self underneath their mask and you see the possibility of who these people could decide to be, but they're not. These people are not choosing to be that. So know the difference between the mask people choose to wear and the real truth, right? Walking in your authenticity is going to attract a lot of different things, but spirit is saying that these people that are in this energy here because you are choosing to fight and you are choosing to stay you know to walk in this energy here to gain your independence from this to really yeah exactly to let go right to let go of this energy right here and to walk you know in, in your destined will of fortune path spirit is saying here you're really taking the running of these types of energy like out of the running so Spirit is saying that for a lot of you, stop leaving it open as a possibility. So this is for some of you, if you watch pick a card readings or love readings or things like that or whatever, and you're like, is this my toxic ex they're talking about? Do you want that person back? If the answer is no, then no, no, it's not a possibility. It's not that person, right? Will it to be so? It's not that person they're talking about, right? Because if you leave it open as a possibility, that's a door for this person to walk back in. So, um, you know, if you don't want it to be an ex and you hear a person say, oh, it could be an ex, but you don't want it to be an ex, just, okay, well, she's not talking to me or they're not talking to me. That part of the reading of it, of the possibility of it being an ex is not there because I, I choose not to subscribe to that reality. My ex is not coming back. My ex is not in my life. I'm not attracting people like that, baby. And that's when you're going to see the difference where they show up in your life, Right. If you want it, claim it. If you don't want it, stop claiming it. Stop claiming it. Because whatever you claim, whatever reality you choose to subscribe to, that's what you're going to manifest. So choose. Um, I'm seeing that in the, the Romance Angels deck, the um, very soon card that clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Decide what you want. These are about your chosen 2121 down on the clock. These are about your chosen relationship. So make a choice. And for a lot of you, stop waiting for apologies. Stop leaving the door open for this person to come back and give you an apology. You know your your spirit. Your, your, some, there are some things that are meant to be a mystery. Spirit is saying. Sometimes we're not going to get closure. Because those people like to lure the thought of feeling like, oh, if I don't give them closure, if I don't ever apologize, if I don't ever, they can't ever move on. Stop. Re-empower yourself. Stop giving your your healing journey over to that person. Well, like, I'll never heal. Or I'll never get over it if they don't admit, if they don't change. No. No, no. You will choose not to heal. That's the, honest, that's the real honest truth. You would choose not to heal if they don't heal. If they don't, then I won't. Is a choice that you are choosing to subscribe to. It's a reality that you are choosing to just subscribe to. Right? If you choose to uh, fuck whatever they're doing, I'm going to do me. And I'm going to be authentically me. <laughs> you know? And I'm going to live my best life regardless of what they think or how they feel about me or how they feel about the situation. And that's how you unhook those emotional ties, those emotional anchors. Right? That's how you cut. That's how that's called establishing boundaries, boo. And having the discipline inside you to say no means no means no. And when I tell the universe yes means yes means yes. Right? But when I say no means no means no, stop questioning yourself. Stop questioning your authority. Yeah. Yeah. Because being in this victim mentality is creating your own tower moments of abandonment and heartbreak. As long as you see yourself as a victim, you will continue to be one. And it is not until you decide to raise out of your victim mentality, out of your victimhood, out of the world is just so cruel and so mean and I'm, I'm not in control of anything that it ever does or that it says or... What you doing? <laughs> karma you guys know my black dog always shows up when we're talking about the karma stuff Let's talk about that shadow work there she comes <laughs> and thus there comes my other dog as well 
And that's so t- funny, too, because that definitely embodies their personality. And they're quite jealous of each other, actually. The girls are. They're quite jealous of each other. And my black dog, she she embodies that kind of shadow control energy just in her breed and just in the, the dog that she is in general. She's a very, like, controlling leader of the pack. But she's very attuned and very sensitive to the other dogs and to, you know, to the other animals. Um, and my other dog, is, my white dog, she's just so loving and unconditional she's like a little beautiful little angel baby of just unconditional love all the time um and so yeah um so spirit's saying you need both right you need both the light and the shadow Um, but you don't need to let your shadow have so much control over the situation and over your choices. Your shadow can't be the only thing that just rules your subconscious, you know, you know, that subconscious underneath there. You gotta know thyself and take back your empowerment. Right? God gifted us a mind that is able to think, able to feel, able to reason beyond, able to contemplate its own self and, and break itself down and understand itself within its limits, right? But some of you here are being asked to challenge your preconcept, your pre, you know, the box that you've put yourself in, the limitations, the limiting beliefs that you've been taught, especially around how powerful you are and how much you really do control your own reality because a lot of you have felt very out of control, out of control, out of your body, out of control, like you've dealt with a lot of energies that that like to that like to make you that mirror that disempowerment energy within you you know and we and we witness this on the 3D as people who like to control us or people that emperor in reverse people who like to manipulate us people who like to uh you know mirror that shadow energy within us And because we were denied control, our own sovereignty, our own power, right? Our own authority. You know, there's some parts of us is like uh, generational toxic mindsets can seem, you can feel destined, right? Destined to always feel the sense of lack of control of your environment. But spirit is saying that's not the truth. It's a paradigm that you need to cut out. Wow. That was a big channel. I've been downloading that all day. I've been feeling that like since last night. Jeez. Okay. That's what I have for you guys, okay? Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope this channel message brought you some love, light, or clarity into your situation, all right? I really appreciate you guys. Um, Like the content if you liked it. Let me know if this resonated for you down in the comment section down below. If you are digging the vibe here, join the tribe and subscribe, okay? And uh, if you're interested in any of the cards or any of my pers- or any of the information about me or, or to see like the cards that I created or anything like that, Links are in the description box down below. Also, if you want a personal reading for me, the, my email and um, is listed down in the description box down below as well. Thank you guys so very much for being here with me today. All right, and I will uh, see you lovelies in the next one. Okay, <laughs> bye.